Welcome to a, another Fish Baits Fly Box tying tutorial. Tonight I'm going to tie Carl Carlson's Provo Hooker. What I have on the vise is a Gamagatsu B10S Stinger Hook and I've got a some uh, Olive 210, didn't, 210 UTC thread and I'm going to start the thread at the head of the fly and then we're going to bring the thread to the bend of the hook. And then I'm going to bring it back up a little bit and I'm going to tie in some, what I've got is elk yearling, yearling elk hair. Uh, Carl Carlson uses moose hair. I do not have any um, moose body hair. I've got uh, mane, but I don't think that that's the correct hair that he, that he uses for it. Um, so, take this and I make about shank length. There and for I'm just gonna cut this. I think it's easier to deal with. So cut the ends off. A couple light wraps. Put it down close to the hook, and then we're gonna pull it just like that. And we're have that thread in there. And then we're going to take the thread, bring it back up. We're going to go back to 75, 80% point of the hook. Right there. And we're going to take some quarter inch uh, eyeballs. They're, we got red ones here. Um, I would not try to tie this with any smaller than quarter inch. I've tried it, and although you can do it, it's harder to get the rabbit hair to lay correctly into it to make the head. So, I'm going to just ferrate those eyeballs in there. And then, we're going to tie in some lead. What I've got is 035 lead wire, and I'm going to put a dozen or so wraps of lead wire in there. I'm just going to go where the, I started the elk hair, I'm bringing that back up to the front there, and then I'm going to half hitch this and put it on a cradle, and then start wrapping that in. Okay, now I got 12 wraps in there. I take it and break my lead wire. I want to adjust the focus on this just a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to take it and wrap over the lead wire. I get to this point, I'll tie it back to the back there, and I'm going to take some marabou. First, I'm going to, first piece I'm going to start with is a black piece of marabou. And I want this to extend to the length of the uh, elk hair that I've got on there. Pull it on there, and I'm going to do this same thing with the next one's going to be olive, and after that, I'll do a, a piece of sand marabou. Wraps tight down. Grab our snips and snip that. Then we'll grab the olive. sand.
And once I have those tied in, I'm going to put a few more wraps in there to secure it. And then I'm going to take a white bunny strip. And I only want this to extend about three quarters of an inch. So seeing as how I've got about half an inch already there, I'm only going to need about a quarter of an inch of the hide. And the, the fibers are already half inch. Now I'm just going to lay it down, put, divide the fibers. down and secure it. I'm going to fold that back, put just a few more in front, and now I'm going to tie in um, some uh, polar chenille. This isn't necessarily polar chenille, this is psycho chenille from Goathead. Um, I really like this stuff. So that's why I'm using it. It's just as flashy. It's just it feels a little, it's got a little different feel to it than normal polar chenille. And I'm just gonna tie it in. Okay, get that out of the way. And I'm gonna take some of this cinnamon UV ice dub, and I'm going to dub the thread. Uh, dumbing around and then I'm going to half hitch it right there the thread back on my bobbin cradle and start wrapping this in. As I wrap it, I'm going to palm it towards the back of the fly. If I need to, it doesn't look like I need to. It looks like it's lining up the way it's supposed to. There we go. And when I get to where the front of the dubbing is, I'll take my thread and tie it off. Cycle chenille off. Pull it back. Put a few more wraps secured in there. And then I'm going to bring this rabbit strip forward, divide these fibers, chenille fibers, cycle chenille over, hold that over. And where that dubbing ends, I'm going to tie, tie it off. Put a couple wraps of thread. I just use my wet my thumb fingers and pulled those fibers back. Put a few strap wraps in there. And we'll take and we'll cut this hide right the thread there. Okay. We'll pull everything back and secure it down. And then we're gonna take some schloppin', a schloppin feather and we'll Tie that in. At that point. And then we're going to wrap the schloppen, just like hackle, around that portion of the fly. Three or four wraps will do it. And then we'll take and tie that hackle off. We'll put a few more wraps in there, secure it, make sure it's secured. And then we're gonna flip the fly over and grab our olive rabbit strip. And we're gonna measure it 
so that the fibers extend just at where the the uh, tail or the fly ends or, in, or just a little bit beyond that's where we want to hook it hook this um, rabbit strip so we'll put it in there take it out of the vise I'm going to proceed to push that down the rest of the way and, and then put it back in it block it back into the vise I'm going to bring this down the rest of the way and we're going to take this and divide these fibers, these psycho sh Chanel fibers and the Schlappen fibers down. Make sure it's all the way up. That tail is where it needs to be. And then we're going to divide these fibers at the point where the Schlappen ends. And we are going to tie that in. And again, I'm going to use my finger wetted to tighten it down. At this point, I'm going to take and flip the fly back over, top side up, and I'll bring the thread to the head of the fly. Now I'm going to wrap these rabbit strip to build the head, wrap it around the eyes. I'm just going to figure it or wrap it around however I feel like I need to. And I'm going to hold the, use some water. I've got a cup of water over here to help me um, guide where these are going. Guide the fibers where I want them. So I kind of want them over the eye there. Once we get there, I'm going to tie it off. Okay. Cut this bunny strip. finish thread And now we're just going to wait for it to dry, and then uh, we'll show you how it looks when it dries. And here's the fly after it's had some time to dry. It looks pretty slick. Thank you for watching this tutorial of the Provo Hooker. Please remember to, to like Fish Bait's Fly Box on Facebook, and to subscribe to Lance Dean's YouTube channel and to become a subscriber slash follower of fishbasedflybox.com. Thank you. Have a nice night.